Mortal Kombat sucks. This is a series that I watched uh, a while ago. I cannot remember it off the top of my head how long ago. And, um... It's pretty funny the first time I watched it. But I do not remember it very well. So, that being said, uh, we're going to watch, let's say... First one's 12 minutes. Next one's pretty short. Okay, no. Okay, yeah, we'll watch we'll watch the first three. We'll watch Kotal Khan sucks, watch Sonya sucks, and then we'll watch Kano sucks, and then we'll save the rest for uh for uh next next stream here. So without further ado, let me uh, turn this down here. Let's uh let's see what this is about. <laughs> This is gonna be good. This is gonna be real fucking good. Kotal Khan is a ruler of Outworld. Oh, you know what I should do? Actually, I should. Uh... Let's see. Let's boot it. World. In the last game, KK was an idiot and an asshole. Let's see if KK has changed after being spanked by Sub Zero. We will also I be mean, talking about Shao Kahn and Jade because they are pretty stupid too. In chapter they two, were, yes. KK is going to execute the collector. OMG they're gonna kill the new character they just introduced. I'm uh -huh. so scared. Then suddenly, characters from all over the MK franchise start popping out. While this is happening the collector escapes with his OP wheel variation. Written. Shao Kahn. General Kotal. Psycho Mantis. Then oh, KK reunites with his long lost yeah. shoehorn lover Jade. Shoehorn lovers, no, right? No, I'm dead. I take my throne, or I'll soak these sands with your blood. And the all-out brawl be- Wait, what did that say? I take my throne, or I'll soak these sands with your blood. Ha <laughs> Gandhi. <laughs> and the all-out brawl begins. Very good. You know, I wonder where these guys are when all this was happening. Don't even get me started. <laughs> Dude, the fact that Ermac was in this game was such a crock of shit. They literally had a character model for him. That head is off of the fucking character model for him. From the goddamn crypt. They just didn't make him a goddamn character. Same, uh, same thing with Cyrax and Sector too. Same shit. Absolute disservice. I call your bluff, sorcerer. We have more power than you God think, Zetora. Fuck. Tor wonder, why are we helping Koto at Collector Execution? Well, obviously, we're in the middle of this game, and later Ermac and I are going to the crypt. We are going to jump off a cliff. Oh, okay. For how? What? Oh, KK and Shao Kahn go for a bit, but oh, Lee Kang God. interferes and KK fights Baraka. KK is also racist towards Takatans. Filthy Takatan. <laughs> While we are getting our exciting KKB Shao Kahn 1 Volt 1, Devora shows up to cock block us. And Shao <laughs> Kahn and his gang escape. <laughs> then KK and Raiden start I chatting. Think that was a we funny were face. allies who became enemies. Everything Warship. changed after your defeat of Shinnok. Our realms joined to fight him. Earthrealm is lost. Not if we hang together. I will appease Shinnok. Bring him your heads. Gain time to bolster <laughs> Outworld's defenses. Dude. What kind of crack you smoke in Kotal? Our realms join to fight him. So they decide <laughs> to work together to stop Shao Kahn. In Chapter 5, KK and Jade decide to go take on Shao Kahn without these guys' help. I'm surprised no woman oh, yeah, they didn't even your bring Aaron Black. become your queen. Why? None of them were you. Did you tell Jade about us? There is nothing to tell. Such deception, Koda. Then they get ambushed. <laughs> what? Oh, 
Oh, okay. I understand why she tried to put her maggots down his throat. <laughs> what the fuck? And Jade meets her worst nightmare. By the gods, it's true. This is what I become. Blame your loyalty to Katara. It led directly to our death. It is pitiful you choose servitude. Bitch, what you say about me? <laughs> then I'll be horror and ask her nicely where Shao Kahn is. Tell us where to find Shao Kahn. <sighs> and then they let her go. Yes. What? Why the hell would KK the just let her, go? Would they let her go? Even if they don't kill her, at least imprison her. Is this some sort of Oshtek custom thing? Oh, and guess what? This is why Devora gets to kill Scorpion later on. Idiot! True. Then they find the Takerton camp. True. We are outnumbered. Give me a few of your best soldiers. We'll infiltrate the camp and search for Shao Kahn unseen. What you this propose is fucking is dangerous. timely. Of course it is. And then they get caught. <laughs> Before they get caught, Jade meets a cute Akitan lady. OMG guys I found Melina. So then Jade starts running away. Jade meets the collector, and then she spanks him. Afterwards, KK decides to execute all the tea catons. Execute them! You were okay offering refuge to Shao Kahn. I offer it to you, Shao Kahn. You even let Devora go, yet Tarkatans need to go extinct. Yeah, I guess you really are just life. racist towards Tarkatans. It's Tarkatan! After seeing Melina about to be killed again, Jade decides to put a stop to this madness. This is cruel. Many didn't fight us. They are children. They don't get to choose. So Jade decides to What why you gotta do me like that? <laughs> oh my god, man. Give KK a spankin', but then accidentally perfect. beats him till he becomes unconscious ASMR. Wow. The hmm? ruler of Outworld. Defeated by a sassy pole lady. Oh god. I wait. don't know what is more imp I didn't even think about that. Had his ass beat by the fucking poor lady. Oh my god. Embarrassing. This. Or being defeated by Kunjin. How the hell do people think he stands a chance against Shao Kahn? Speak of the devil. Look also who decided true. to show up at the perfect timing. So are you back on Shao Kahn's team? Nope. In Shao God, I haven't watched this in so fucking long. I forgot that was. <laughs> that was perfectly fucking timed. Oh my god. Chapter 7 Shao Kahn is gonna execute KK. And just as Shao Kahn is about to cut off KK's head, I'm still wondering where these guys are. Also true. Isn't Koto getting executed the now? Neck brace Shouldn't is nice. we go help him? Uh, nah. Hey, Zatara, when do you think they'll release us? Oh, hey, it's uh, Rain. It's impossible for Tanya, but you might be released in about a year. What a flash! Oh. Ah, shut the fuck up! And just as Shao Kahn is about to cut off KK's released. head, Katana comes to say. Wait, what the fuck was that? Tanya was definitely not released yet, but... And just as Shao Kahn is about to cut off KK's head. Oh. Oh, no. <laughs> Katana comes to save KK's ass, and an all-out brawl starts. The Collector shows up again, and gets beaten again. And that's all we ever see of the Collector. You did a good so job, I can't believe it, I'm proud of you. Really? So now, oh, yeah. we continue right, our can bowl we left off in Chapter 2. Hola. Sadly, Shao Kahn gets the upper hand, and banes KK. And just as Shao Kahn is about to kill KK, Katana scratches Shao Kahn's nipples to save KK. 
Now Kitana is going to stall as much time as possible for her allies to help. Wait, what is going on here? <laughs> yep. Still? Well, that says it all. Did yep. she just kill Shao Kahn? Did she just kill motherfucking Shao Kahn? Hi everyone, That's Sonic RxD here, thought. and I decided to use my own voice for this part because I thought it'd be more appropriate to uh, show my frustrations through my oh. emotions, basically. <clears throat> oh boy. I like Katana. Oh boy. And I am okay with her being Khan. I am not okay with her Excuse me. defeating Shao Kahn. Agreed. It, it's, just, it's just impossible. It's just basically impossible! So for those of you uh, who are a little confused as to why I believe it is impossible, um, let's run back the history of Mortal Kombat for a sec. So oh, let's just no. let's just take a look oh, went at deep. Katana's history in Mortal Kombat. Her story before MK9 was Shao Kahn's fake daughter. Once she found out about the truth, she tried to oh, escape, but she was no. then in prison. But later she escapes. And the oh, Kang saves the world. Later she gets imprisoned back. again by Shinna, but then escapes again. And then she gets killed by the Deadly Alliance. And then she gets brought back to life by Onaga. And then she dies again in Armageddon. Then the MK9 reboot happens. Katana and Jay both get beaten by Sonya. Katana gets toyed by Liu Kang, gets beaten by Smoke. Later when she finds out about Melina, she gets captured and then saved by Liu Kang. And then she gets killed by Sindel. The end. This. This. Defeats Shao Kahn! Oh. Who? Shao Kahn gets killed by Liu Kang in MK2, but survives. Gets killed by Liu Kang in MK3, but survives again. Gets killed by the Deadly Alliance, survives. Then, in Armageddon, he beats up about 50% of all the characters in Mortal Kombat. Gets dragged away by Onaga, then kills Onaga, climbs the pyramid, kills Blaze, gets the yeah. ultimate power, and kills every single Mortal Kombat character in history. Yeah. MK9 timeline reset, he gets penetrated by Liu Kang. <laughs> survives! And if it weren't for the Elder Gods interfering and giving Raiden extra power, Raiden wouldn't have defeated Shao Kahn. This gets defeated by this. How? Like what the hell happened in this past timeline? If Katana was this strong already, why did she just kill Shao Kahn already back in the past timeline? Unbelievable. Yeah, he's, Both he's not wrong. <laughs> rulers defeated by the Adinian ladies who are infamous for being weak in the series. Pathetic! That's true. Like at this point, basically That's anybody can be Khan. True. Why not why not let uh Kun Jin be Khan? <sighs> or how about uh, from what I recall, uh Katana like was trained by Bo Raicho? Let's have Bo Raicho be Khan then fuck! Hey I'm back. Let's wrap this up. Though. So Shao Khan dies. KK points at Katana. And Jade still loves KK. Oh. And that's the end of KK and Shao Kahn. They don't even show up for the final battle. You hype us for the Con v Khan battle, and you end it with Shao Kahn not finishing the job, and true. being killed awesome. by the fan lady. I guess in the end, I still kinda like this hunk of junk. Even if he sucks. So I'll end the video by doing this. Oh, here it is. Here it is. Yeah. KK in a wheelchair. KK in a wheelchair. Yes. He started off hating Tarkat. Now he doesn't really care. KK in a wheelchair. KK in a wheelchair. Damn, those moves are really huge. Don't just dare. Go and tear. KK in a wheelchair. KK in a wheelchair. He started out simping for Jade. Then he pointed at the blades. KK in a wheelchair. KK in a wheelchair. He may have done it with Bug Lady and get that thing known as. Hey! <laughs> oh god damn it. I forgot how long this shit was due. Because KK is on a on a wheel Three nuzzle pounces on you, you will you so warm. Couldn't help but notice your heart from across the floor. The ruler of Outworld. And he wants them to obey his ways. But then he gets defeated by a sassy pole lady in the Yay. game. Can't be can't we've been promised said legendary to this day. Ends with KK getting bay and Shao Kahn getting slain. Blind he has his trusted minion group always ready and standing by. Aaron, Reptile. Wait where'd they go? Did they die? You better get out of God, I forgot how fucking good this was. <laughs> Okay.
Shiva gives him a back massage oh so my that God. he can walk Even again. More. KK not in wheelchair. KK not in oh, wheelchair. They DLC. go on their honeymoon and he brought his favorite pen. KK not in wheelchair. <laughs> KK not in wheelchair. Shao brought his favorite pen. KK KK not in wheelchair. They go on their honeymoon and he brought his favorite pen. Red out things to rhyme with again. <laughs> KK not in wheelchair. KK not in wheelchair. Shao Kahn then decapitates him. <laughs> Such wasted potential. Shao Kahn just got into his Shao Kahn just got into his Fuck you, damn it. Down into his he should have stayed in KK 2015 to 2020. Oh my god, man. Bonus scene. Oh, wait, hold on. Hey, when do you think they'll release Melina? Rather soon. <laughs> In about a year. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. God, I forgot how fucking good these were. That is so goddamn good, man. So fucking good. This man, this man, really ripped these apart, and I, I absolutely, I absolutely love how how detailed and how abs just brutal he's willing to get with this these these fucking uh, characters and uh, and the writing and how fucking garbage it is. It's so goddamn good. Uh, but I'll end this section of the video for the Kotal Khan part. We'll split that off into its own separate thing, and if you enjoy, you know, like, share, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. And then moving on to the next section, we welcome back, and we are continuing along here with the, what is this next one again? The Sonya Sucks section of the Mortal Kombat 11 Sucks movie from uh, Sonic Ha HD. So, that being said, I'm not going to delay anymore because th these, these are so fucking hilarious. I, I let the man get on his tear here and continue with a Sonya one. Three, two, one, go. <laughs> <laughs> oh. General Sonia Blade is a member of the I Special the Forces. There, I see. She has also gotten so many plastic surgeries that K pop stars are jealous. Before <clears throat> we get into what she does in the story, let's address Trump. the elephant in the room Ronda fucking Rousey. Hi. Why did they get her to play the legendary soldier Sonia Blade? Getting Pauli Hiroyuki back to play Shang Tsung was a wait, fantastic wait, fan. Wait, he said the name. Getting Pauli Hiroyuki back to play Pori Shang Tsung was a fantastic fan service. But why are Ronda Rousey? Man. Good fan What audience were agree. they trying to appease? I guarantee no gamers were hyped for this. So, was this for wrestling fans? Ronda Rousey fans? Strong independent woman fans. Strong we are not going there, but it all doesn't matter as long as she delivers a good performance. Right? Many hate her, and many defend her, but what do I think about her performance? I think she's pretty fine. <laughs> her performance for the most part is fine. However, with a cast of professional actors with incredible performances, yeah, exactly. saying she's fine out. can be taken it as really a compliment or out. an insult depending on you. But that doesn't mean it's not mock worthy. Are you some kind of exactly. ancient alien? Cut this shit! You'll kill us whether we fight or not! Yeah, exactly. Stay away from her, you son of a bitch! God mm -hmm. damn, your voice is like nails on a chalkboard. I will say oh. the best performance oh. she does was her death scene. Alright, let's get but into ironically. the story. We're skipping present day Sonya oh, by no. the way. Sonya she, from the I, past I meets the present good, yeah. day special forces and decides to chat with her daughter Cassie. Cassie decides to tell her about her death. This morning, we were on a mission, and, and you gave your life to save it. 
And how does she respond? You gave your life Son to save it. Bitch. Literally Seriously? word for word. <laughs> and yeah, that reaction. Seriously? <laughs> Seriously? So good. That's how you're gonna react to your own death. Son of a bitch. So later, Show Cassie me. doesn't have time to handle this annoying child and decides to let her play with a YouTube kids app. Not a very wise choice. Oh my then god. Then the Johnny Cages start looking Dude, at the ladies. Oh, oh wow. Are we Johnny Cages? Or Johnny's Cage? As younger you, I saw him. He swear to tap that at the earliest opportunity. Oh. <laughs> Seriously? The fuck you say to me? You. This is really goddamn ridiculous. <laughs> when I first saw this scene, I thought it was really funny, but apparently the situation is supposed to be taken more seriously. At one point, I thought Johnny what? was talking about Cassie. That oh, would be very no. fucked up. Seriously? Johnny spanks him Jesus. for this, and later he apologizes for being a huge jerk. All because he wants to tap. In MK9 he irritates people so hard to the point that they want to beat him up. That's it. That's Time true. somebody shut you the hell up. <laughs> MK11. One tap. I'm not saying he's in the clear. I just think he could have have said something worse. Later, Sonya wanders to more darker places on the internet. And she finds out the truth. That's a yikes. Remember kids. Sideways for attention. <laughs> for results. <laughs> oh my god. You left me behind and you gave your life to save it. Yep. Yep. Damn exactly. it, Cassie. God you damn abandoned it. me? You must have a very high IQ to understand what the word sacrifice means, apparently. Then the black dragon ambush so and they stupid. capture Sonya. Sonya is being grabbed by two robot goons who are really easy to defeat. Let's see that how long true. it takes for this legendary soldier to break free from them. I don't believe she does. You'd be <laughs> lucky to shine my boots. <laughs> the legendary Sonya Blade. Wow. The legendary I bet even Ronda Rousey Blade. could break free from that. So I'm going to be skipping the Sonya vs Kano part. Because I'm going to be talking about that part in my Kano Sucks video. Oh. After Kano's defeat, okay. Johnny asks Sonya out for dinner so that he can get that tap. Definitely watch Seriously? that one next. Garrus oh, then shows geez. up and beats up the special forces. Let's see how long it takes for Sonya and the others to react. What is that? Oh no. Superhero landing! <laughs> Garrus. You apathetic monsters, you watch your men die and don't even flinch. People die and Sonya dances. Yep. Sonya yep. That is accurate. Mother of Cassie Cage. Yeah. What of it? Cassie Cage defeated Shinnok, son of Kronika. I am his mother's vengeance. It oh, is not no. vengeance that drives Kronika. Yeah. <laughs> Sonya defeats Jiris with the help of Cassie. Sonya then apologizes to Cassie for being a fucking idiot. Perfect. But I read the file. You followed orders. Saved your squad. It's hitting I'm all the points that, that I mentioned about the fucking story. Earthrealm. God damn it. And you. So apparently you can't trust your own daughter's words and had to finish reading the report to believe her. What a great character. This <laughs> whole conflict is so stupid. Also, it is when did you stupid. get the time to read the report? But I reread the file. After you accused exactly. Cassie for letting you go, Kano shows up and captures you. So did you read it before Kano got you? Read the full report, Lieutenant. Okay. <laughs> After a sweet hug, they then run away. And that is the end of Sonya Blade. She doesn't even show up for the final battle. Maybe she's too busy getting oh. tapped by John. Seriously? This character sucks. And it's oh, not see. even Rhonda's performance. It's how bad she's written. Seriously? Hopefully the next Sonya can be more like this. I've got this son of a bitch. And less like Rousey. Are you some kind of ancient alien? <laughs> Oh. Wow. Oh boy. The many changes. Scarlett Johansson at the end there. Okay. That was good. That was pretty fucking good. Oh, the next was the Kano sucks one. Oh yeah, we're definitely gonna have to 
watch through this one before I uh, end it all here. Well, actually, what's the one after Kano? Frost sucks. End it all. Oh, yeah, the stream. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, shit. End it all. You good? Yeah, I'm good. It was just a very poor choice of phrasing there. Dude, what the fuck? Yeah, actually. Yeah, how, how many of these can I get in here? We got Kano. It doesn't seem like Frost is super short. Devora, yeah, she fucking sucks. Noob sucks. Yeah. We go through Devora. We go through up to Devora, and then call the stream after that. I think. Save the rest for my next Mortal Kombat stream. Kano is the leader of the international oh. crime cartel known as the Black Dragon. His appearance is also somehow getting hotter and hotter as the games go on. In Chapter 4, Garrus asks Kano well, to help okay. Kronika build a bunch of robots. Yet Kano is a bit hesitant. But then, the lord and savior for himself shows up. Himself. God, and that's an actual sound effect from the game, Otherwise, too. who can you trust? <laughs> He was looking at his crotch. I was 50 and still a ripper. I was right. There's still the matter of our fee. Shut up, boy. The men are talking. <laughs> so after they suck each other up, they go and attack the special forces in oh. Chapter 6. They oh defeat them God. and capture Sonya and Johnny. And then they leave. You gonna let them live? Why? You have the leverage. You have the high ground. Just kill them all. Or do you really think Sector <laughs> Self Destruct is good point. enough? Yeah, bloody wanker. So when they captured Johnny and Sonya, at first, I thought it was because they were needed for Kronika's plans. But it turns out Kano just wants to see them beat each other in a cage. You fuck it. Kronika is trying to liberate the world, and you're here toying with these two. Would Kronika be fine with this? Would Sector be fine performing Harakiri for this? Yeah, bloody Darrow. Probably not. <laughs> In hindsight, probably not. So Sonya's the skank who burns me? Oh, yep. Yep, there it is again. Is that like a personal attack or something? Hope you're ready for some preemptive vengeance. I don't even know who you are. Though Cabal has superhuman speed, <laughs> there is just no way he can defeat the power of strong independent Wama. Then OP Cassie shows up to save the day, since you didn't kill her when you got the chance. Aaron Black tries to stop Johnny and Sonya from escaping, but everyone knows guns can't hurt strong independent Wama. God, oh, hell no. Then Dude, Cassie activates Aaron Hacks Black and starts John wicking shot. everyone. Oh my then God. Kano shows up and gets shot. <laughs> then Kano shows up and since Cassie has a massive daddy kick, that monstrous hairy chest, she runs away. Fucking hell, man. Cassie, honey. Daddy Kano was already shooting when you tried to shoot him. Your reflex should be on par with Evo Smash players, but I guess Wait, you just yeah, wanted yeah, to no. embrace more Daddy Hunters. She just jumped right into the fucking line of fire. I didn't even catch that, yeah. Oh my god. One, <laughs> Kano's minigun basically has no wind-up time, except for here. Two, Kano could see through the track. So why didn't he see Sonya climbing on top? Oh my god, Did he also turn good it point. Off? <laughs> Bloody fun stick. Then Sonya has to fight both Canus. This should be pretty tough cause they are gonna fight dirty. What the hell just happened? Well, that was idiotic. Off to hang myself. Off and left. How could this happen? <laughs> I'm fine if there are scars. And I'm fine if a past character dies so does the future version. Agreed. But how Agreed. the f*** do you feel the same pain 20 years later? Apparently if I slap you today you'll feel it 20 years later. Yeah, Why so didn't old Johnny faint there. after young Johnny was defeated? Or Connor? Or that? Or Hanzo? Yep. Or Liu Kang? Fuck this bullshit. Even though they did this stupid thing here. I do believe there is a reason why they did it. So after future Kano gets defeated, Sonya beats up young Kano. And just as she's about to give him the finishing blow, Kano has one last surprise. Now this is a pickle. 
you got up fast. Considering you just took pain from 20 years ago. Also, how did you get Johnny? Wasn't Cassie with him? Did Kano kill Cassie? Or was Cassie standing there in awe of those sweet muscular abs? So now Kano and Sonya are at All a standoff. Good Don't forget, it's two for one. He dies, so does your little girl. Thanks, Kano. For what? For reminding me of the rules. So stupid. What the f just happened? She won by shooting him in the face. Now give her an Emmy. Thanks. So, from what I can tell, I believe the developers want us to be impressed by this because she killed both Canis at the same time. The game constantly reminds us about the rules. Which is probably why they did this dumbass scene. Because the audience is probably too dumb and not mature enough to have watched a time travel movie. He After does. Kano I mean, reminds us again probably. about this, finally Sonya figures out that she can just kill young Kano to kill both Canis. Great job. Thanks. That doesn't mean the standoff is over. The moment you pull the gun out, Johnny is dead. Luckily, Kano kinda forgot he was proficient with knives. Yep. He just stands <laughs> there in true. a daze for 5 seconds and then dies. Bugger me. Congratulations, that's, Connor. That is you have never won a true. fight that's in this dumb. timeline. And that's the end of Kano and the cooler Kano. Mm -hmm. I don't know what else I can do now. Fuck it, I'm out of ideas. Enjoy this. Oh my god. <laughs> Damn smile. Oh, Jesus. Oh. You get what you fucking deserve! <laughs> Alright. We'll do Frost Sucks too. Might as well squeeze it in. L337 is a droid rights advocate in the new Star Wars movie. Frost is the girl version of Sub-Zero. <laughs> she got sick of being called that so she cybernized herself to be more original. Which sadly Sub-Zero also did first. Also did, Before yep. the game came out, there was a mysterious hooded figure standing next to Kronika. Whoever this is must be very important. And let me tell you, she definitely is crucial. In <laughs> Chapter 4, Kronika brought back nope. the Cybelin Kui facility. And has Sector and Mysterious Lady to help make some robots. Then Hanzo and Qi Lang show up to attack. And it turns out it's Frost. Frost. OMG, oh, I'm so shocker. surprised. I definitely didn't spoil myself before the game came out. Yep. She gets defeated yep. by either Scorpion or Sub-Zero. And then she runs away, leaving sub -Adom to disable all the Cybel and Kui. So since these three idiots couldn't protect the facility, Kronika has to ask Kano to help rebuild thousands of more robots. Kronika is literally asking Kano to wipe your ass, Frost. Ballsy. In Chapter 11, <laughs> that's, Frost that's brings the Cybel and Kui 2.0 to fight the good guy. She decides to take on Raiden. Superhero landing. Now do I That's have your foolish. attention, Raiden? And gets defeated. Such yep, wasted potential. Now remember when I said she was crucial to the plot? Is it because she has a complex and interesting story? No. Nope. Is it because she's the key to Kronika's victory? No. Nope. Or is it because she's what all women in video games strive to be? I'll let you guys decide on that last one. The answer is she's a self-destruct uh -oh. button for all the Cybel and Kui. Is this a joke? Yeah. Uh, I'm not sure yet. Once Raiden defeats her, he EMPs uh, her head, know, and all the robots get disconnected. If you beat her, you destroy half of Kronika's army. Yikes. That the you funniest do. thing about this is I blame Kronika more than Frost for this. She's done this thousands of times so she has to know about this design flaw. And yet she allows Frost's arrogant ass so to dumb. take on the Thunder God. So I'll tell you something, I'm getting pretty sick and tired of all the dumb things that go on around here. So in the end, mm -hmm. not only did Frost fail to protect the Good first clip. batch of Cybel and Kui, she also threw the second one into the Sea of Blood. Great job, Frosty. What's up, Frosty the Snow Chick? Such wasted potential. <laughs> oh. Hey there, Elsa. What's up? Ugh. Why does everyone call me that? Let it go. Oh, Jesus. Well. Oh, God. Okay, well.
Well, squeeze and devour sucks too, like I was Devora saying. is a species known as a chitin, where bugs bond together to form a humanoid body. She has also sucked ah, every fun. villain's PP for her own survival, and it has been working out very well for her. Onaga, Shao, and Kota. Cons whom the hive has outlived. Devora oh, is also my most requested character due to how much people hate her. Now let's get right into Bug Lady. I'm also going to have a counter for all the good and bad things she's done in the story. Oh, in boy. chapter 2, Shao Kahn and his gang are just about to be defeated. However, Devora comes to save them all. Then Devora straight up tells Shao Kahn about making out with his daughter. You Marina. And she doesn't <laughs> suffer any repercussions from Shell. In chapter 5, Devora almost kills KK, but KK is saved by Jade because Revenant Jade sucks. You suck something fierce. Then Devora gets defeated by Jade and tells them the location of the Tikatan camp. But in the long run, this actually helps the villains because KK and Jade get captured from this. In chapter 10, Devora is interrogating. True whatever your name was, and gets interrupted by Scorpion. Then Hanzo gets killed by Devora. Unacceptable. And then she gets away. And that is the end of Devora. Um. I'm sorry, how does she suck? <gasps> uh oh. Like, I listed all this out and I don't see how she's bad. So after analyzing for some time, I have come up with points that might point to her sucking. Number one. She gets defeated by Jade. Haha, ha. she got defeated by the sassy pole lady. But, in my opinion, I thought it was more funny that the ruler of Outworld got spanked by Jade. Which caused them to get caught. Because true. Devora told them to go there and fuck themselves. Number 2. Also Someone true. in Netherrealm Studios must really like Devora. She has accomplished much more than any of these characters. And she kills Hanzo, mm. so I find it kinda funny that Bug that's Lady has a little true. guardian angel looking after her from NRS. They really like and the that final bug point lady. is everyone hates her. She's disgusting. She betrays allies. And she kills fan favorites. Fuck this stupid Bug Lady, am I right? But how does that make her suck? <gasps> In my opinion, a hated character doesn't equal a bad character. I like to point out the contradictions and stupid decisions that characters make. But Devoral doesn't really possess much of that. And all I'd be left with is an angry gamer aunt complaining about Devoral's face. What's wrong with your face? She In my Sonya Blade up. Sucks video, while Ronda Rousey's voice sucks and hated by many, Sonya Blade's actions in the story were a lot more funny and what makes the video entertaining in my opinion. However, I don't have that same feeling for Devoral. I'm sorry everyone. I know you all wanted me to rip and tear her apart, but I just don't have enough leverage on her. Hopefully she'll get brutally murdered in Mortal Kombat Aftermath. If you wanted to see some actual Devoral sucks content, then I recommend checking out the 4th Snakes video on her. There was always something about Devora's role in MKX that bugs me, haha. -ha. Or check out Maximilian Duke reacting to all fatalities performed on Devoral. Oh my god! <laughs> ten out of ten. So in the end, all I can Very say good. is, I guess I just don't possess enough hatred towards Devoral to make a sucks video. Wait. Did I just accidentally reveal that I like Devoral? <gasps> oh. I am never gonna financially recover from this. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Oh, bonus scene. Hold on. Oh, Jesus. Oh my god, Ben. Okay, that was pretty good. Uh, well, 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 I think that about calls it for me this evening. I'm quite tired. It's been a long day at work, and uh, I uh, definitely need some sleep. So I will be streaming tomorrow. We're definitely doing a Warhammer paint stream tomorrow, so be look forward to that. I might do some Mortal Kombat if the, in the evening if I'm feeling it. See what, see how I'm feeling, see what happens. But uh, to all y'all that tuned in, to all that popped in, thank y'all for showing up. Thank y'all for following. Thank y'all for subbing, all that good stuff. And I will see y'all in the next stream. Should be sometime, sometime in the afternoon early evening time tomorrow. I'm not sure exactly when, but you'll see it pop up. So, with that being said, 
Hope y'all enjoyed. Hope y'all have a good evening, and I will see y'all in the next one. Adios.